This is Illuminatus Syllabus. Good morning, class clown. Come on in, sit your ass down. Welcome to Illumination Summation, a Robert Anton Wilson examination. Robert Anton Wilson, born January 18th, 1932, died January 11, 2007, was an American author, futurist, psychologist, and self-described agnostic mystic. Well, Professor, reality is what you can get away with. They call me over enlightened. I stay morphing, water bending sticks, been born a god, I ain't frightened. Looking for a way to open their eyes, let them know light and love is on their side. Reality is ran by your own mentality. It's simple math, feel it like gravity. Belief is the death of intelligence. As soon as one believes a doctrine of any sort or assumes certitude, one stops thinking about that aspect of existence. Robert Anton Wilson, Cosmic Trigger, The Final Secret of the Illuminati. Here we find the essence of Wilson's questing mind, seeking, ever searching, but maybe never to find the answer as if there is but one. When you think you've got it, all thinking is done. You're all the one in charge of your destiny. Wanna test and see? Go ahead, don't move your lips. Close your eyes instead. Say this in your head. This reality is mine. This reality is mine. This reality is mine. You hear that shit? Yeah, it's in your brain. You're the only one that can hear it. Does that make you insane? You know, they say hearing voices in your head is bad. Whenever I choose to hear those voices, I feel glad to have a thought manifest in my soul. I use my intent to accomplish my goals. We look for the secret, the philosopher's stone, the elixir of the wise, supreme enlightenment, God or whatever. And all the time it is carrying us about. It is the human nervous system itself. Robert Anton Wilson, Cosmic Trigger, Volume 1, Final Secret of the Illuminati. Can you see the implications of this class? A thought to knock you on your ass. What you seek is inside you all along. It's not outside us. It's not even in your bong. The human nervous system is our network to the universe. Now, can you put this into verse? Hmm. Envisioning all humanity as one chilling together relaxed in the sun i don't feel hate i don't see race we were all born and will die in this place human sapiens let's say it together we are all one we are all one we are all one when we unite as one we can weather any storm a true family we shall form the future is up for grabs. It belongs to any and all who would take the risk and accept the responsibility of consciously creating the future they want. Dare to envision utopia right now. Meditate on the way, the truth, and the how. Your homework will be a three-page paper on the plan to accomplish this cosmic caper. Whenever you can, just simply lend a hand to all your brothers and sisters we only live once, so please don't miss this. Chance to show love and forgiveness, hugs and kisses, not bombs and stitches. Take some action, don't be a witness. Stand up for this, reality we can create. Let's break the cycle of violence and hate. That is time, class, but I will leave you with this quote. Of all the brilliant things Wilson wrote, this says the most about the human condition. To share it with you, I've made my mission. Every fact of science was once damned. Every invention was considered impossible. Every discovery was a nervous shock to some orthodoxy. Every artistic innovation was denounced as fraud and folly. The entire web of culture and progress, everything on earth that is man-made and not given to us by nature is the concrete manifestation of someone's refusal to bow to authority. We would own no more no, no more, and be no more than the first ape-like hominids if it were not for the rebellious, the recalcitrant, and the intransigent. As Oscar Wilde truly said, disobedience was man's original virtue. Robert Anton fucking Wilson. Thank you very much. Fucking Wilson.